Hello and welcome to this edition of Mornings. I'm Michelle Canario. And I'm Mary Mavis. The presidential election is coming up soon, and some of our North Bend seniors wanted to make sure everyone had the chance to participate in the 2020 mock election. Election day was held yesterday, and the polls closed at 6 p.m. The results are in. We had a total of 532 students and 128 staff members voting this year. The results came out to be 372 voters for Joe Biden, the Democratic Party, a total of 147 votes for Donald Trump, the Republican Party. This gives the win to Joe Biden with an average of 70 percent. Mr. Brumball is back this week to test your knowledge with this week's Brumball Challenge. Hey, welcome to this week's Brumball Challenge. On this date, what event occurred which caused great alarm throughout America? The answer, when we get back. Seniors, the first deadline for early action and decision is this upcoming Sunday, November 1st. Make sure you review your following applications and have everything set. If you haven't heard already, Temple has extended their early action deadline to November 15th in hopes of making the application process easier for applicants. Good luck and we wish you all the best. Return to in-person learning is coming soon for students. So we have Mr. Nicholson here to give you more information to make that transition back to school go as smoothly as possible. Good morning, Mr. Nicholson. Good morning, Lane. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? Excellent. Thanks. So some of our students have never walked the halls of the high school before. So what can new students expect to be doing on orientation day? Yeah, so we're excited to have students back in the building, as you said. Many students, uh, both sophomores and then students that came to us since March 12th, have, haven't been in the building. You know, they can expect a, a great day. We're going to have a lot of folks in the hallways helping them find their way to classes. We're going to run a typical bell schedule, the, the new hybrid bell schedule, and they're going to get to meet their teachers in person for the first time. So as I said, we'll have plenty of people helping them move around. Um, helping them get, get comfortable with this big building and just really exciting to see kids in the building again. Yeah, that's great. And so just a reminder, like what is the date for orientation? Great question. Yeah, so orientation are it's next Wednesday uh, for hybrid one students. That's the fourth, I believe. And uh, Thursday, the fifth for hybrid two students for, for all 10th graders. Awesome. And then on the day of orientation, um, do you know like what the procedures for students um, to come into the building will look like? Yeah, well, first of all, I think everybody knows by now, uh, you know, school is no different than any other public place. Students must be have their mask on. Um, we'll have all the social distancing guidelines in place. Um, but as I said, we're, we're going to run a typical bell schedule. Uh, we'll have the hybrid one students here on Wednesday, but everyone else, uh, the hybrid two students and all 11th and 12th graders will be at home and then vice versa the next day. So we're going to follow a typical bell schedule. They'll have four minutes to get to, to each of their classes, but we'll have plenty of folks in the hallways helping them find their classes. And we'll give them a little leeway since they're finding their way around for the first time. But it'll be a, a normal day here, a normal bell schedule. Um, you know, we're just really excited to welcome them into the building. Yeah, and then is there any advice that you would give to all of the new coming students that are coming to the school? Yeah, I mean, my advice would be to just relax, you know, relax. This is a big day in their, their academic journey, the first time here at this big school at North Penn, but it's going to look a little bit different than it has in the past. We'll have very low numbers. Um, you know, I think on each of those orientation days, we'll have about 350 to 400 students here, which is a whole lot different than a typical first day with 3,000. So. Yeah. We'll, we'll be patient with them. Um, luckily for the new sophomores, uh, there will be no seniors sen sending them to the uh, pool on the fourth, uh, fourth floor of K-Pod. Um, everybody that's here will be adults and helping them find the right way. So it'll be a nice, relaxed day for them, um, and, and we'll help them get to where they need to go. So there doesn't need to be a whole lot of anxiety or nervousness. It'll, be, uh, it'll come and go, and before long, they'll know their way around here better than I do. <laughs> For sure. Thank you so much, Mr. Nicholson, for coming on today. Um, next, we have Jojo Dawadi to give you this week's NICAR update. Hey, North Penn, I'm Jojo Dawadi, here to present another NICAR update. 
To start off this week's update, check out the site to read staff writer Julian Nardone's opinion article on why the confirmation of Justice Barrett is one step forward, but two steps back. You'll also find Connor and Isaac's one-on-one with North Penn School Board President, Tina Stoll, who explains the tough process of setting everything up for this school year. Lastly, find more information about the mock election on the Night Crier site. That's all we have for this week's update. I'm Jojo Dawani, and make sure to check out these articles and many more at nightcrier.org or the Student News Source app. And don't forget to read the night, day or night. Let's get right into this week's slowdown. We don't have school this coming Monday and Tuesday, the 2nd and the 3rd for the 2020 presidential election. Enjoy the long weekend and go outside and get some fresh air. On election night, head to Chipotle for SGA Chipotle fundraiser. Check the SGA Instagram at NPSGA for more details, including a code to use for ordering online. The North Bend Girls Volleyball fundraiser is next week, Saturday, November 7th, from 12 to 4 p.m. at the Conineer Sport Men's Club. Order and pay online at conineersclub.com. They accept Venmo and PayPal or cash at pickup time. Best order to be put through is November 6th at noon. Go and support and have and gr- enjoy some great burgers and fries. Seniors next week is your only chance to order your cap and gown at only $23. Go to the North Bend High School Daily Bulletin for an ordering link. AP exam payments are due this Monday, November 2nd. No payments are accepted after the deadline. Check for an email from Dr. Radigan to make sure you're set to go for, for May AP exams. Don't forget to send in your TikToks for this year's costume competition by this Monday, November 2nd. Check your email for the Google form from October 19th. And don't forget to enjoy your Halloween and be safe this weekend. If you're planning on going back to school in hybrid model, the groups are assigned and can be found in Infinite Campus. This upcoming Friday is the last day of first marking period. Make sure to check your grades and ask teachers for any help. Make sure to check your daily bulletin for more info like this. That's all we got for this week's slowdown. Let's get right into this week's sports update. Girls field hockey played great this week and are heading into District 1 playoffs soon with a 2-1 to win against Wissahickon. Girls volleyball had a tough defeat to end their season, losing to CB West on Monday. And boys water polo, they did not disappoint with a 14-10 victory over Wissahickon in their first round of playoffs. And today is the last home game for the North Penn Knights football. Don't miss out on all the sports action with streams live on MPTV's YouTube channel. We will be covering tonight's game and a lot more. That's all we have for this sports update. We have to send us your homework areas, and here's what you sent us. Enjoy the edition of North Penn Trips. Did you tweet your answer at NPTV to this week's Brumball Challenge? Let's check in with Mr. Brumball himself with the answer. Hey, the answer you've all been waiting for. On this date, some time ago, Orson Welles' Halloween broadcast of H.G. Wells' novel War of the Worlds set off great alarm in many communities of the United States because they actually thought we were being invaded by Mars. Bet you didn't know that. Now you do. Thanks for playing this week's Brumball Challenge and happy Halloween, North Penn. There is no winner for this week's Brumball Challenge. So that's all we have on this edition of Mornings. I'm Michelle Canario. And I'm Mary Macros. Happy Halloween and have an outstanding rest of your day, North Penn.